welcome back. If you're looking for something to do this weekend that is free and starts early in the morning before the excessive heat, we have a great idea. It's a car show that has literally put one Indiana town on the map. I'm stretching your dollar with an event fun for the whole family. From the tiny town of Coatesville, about 500 people live here. Feels a bit like Mayberry. Nobody had even heard of Coatesville for years until Steve put the car show. Right. That car show had 30 cars just seven years ago. This year, it will approach 200. People come from all over. Much of that is thanks to Stephen Schultz and what he's made for the car show. We are known for our homemade trophies. That's what the car guys come for. That's what they like. You can see why and hear why. Each trophy is different, all made by Stephen. Spent the entire year working on them, uh, fabricate everything, and they're all made out of wood. They're kind of a trophy and art piece combined. Want to go to the car show? It's free. Concerts, food, fun, and Colts cheerleaders will be there. To register a car, that's only 20 bucks. Everything laid out on this table is what you get for that 20. A printed shirt, basically a five pound goodie bag, and if you pre-registered, he puts the picture of your vehicle on a wood plaque. Talk about stretching your dollar. It's all worth triple the price of registering. And of course, if you're a winner, a trophy, one of probably five dozen he made. Money from the car show and efforts of the Downtown Revitalization Board is really helping Coatesville. It has brought some business back into the community. There's now two restaurants um, over there across from the Standard Station and then down the street um, that we didn't have before. That includes a new town sign, items for downtown buildings, and this old building transformed into an iconic looking standard filling station. It's just for looks, including the 42 cent price for gas. Sorry. It was uh, done with a $5,000 grant and with in-kind donations. Dave owns it. Much of the funding for it and town improvement center around their car show happening this weekend, Saturday, starting at 7 a.m. As the new sign says, they've got the atmosphere. They got the hometown friendly. Uh, they got good places to eat. They've got nice places to visit while you're here, and lots of absolutely fabulous cars. And fabulous people like Dave, who loves the car show, in this old building his wife used to use as the sewing business. And I thought it was really great. It allows me to uh, rebrand the store. I lost my wife last year to cancer, and. Um, it allows me to move on and keep the building. It does, and keeps her memory with them. Just part of the history of the people of Coatesville, who make every moment count and every dime. Um, Isn't that awesome? Some really yeah. cool people there. They're awesome people, and this is really awesome too. Yeah, Stephen made this for us as well. <laughs> Probably didn't Look at that. take him very long knowing his skills. Look at that. I mean, the detail. Every single one of those trophies, if you notice in that story, yeah. were different. Every single one. Yeah. I love that one of them, like even the police car one, it made noise. It sounds exactly. And that's again why they say a lot of people come to it so far and wide. So I mean, again, it's, it starts it's this week. Yeah, it is. It, this one's oh. Lindy, so let's not break it. <laughs> she, that was kind of like uh, Amber, that was almost like a stretching your dollar meets your town Friday. Oh, yeah. Uh, it did have okay. a your town Friday yeah, feel it with it. Yeah. yeah. You can save some money, stretch your dollar, and go there and have a fun time at the same time. I love that. But if you do go, just remember to stay hydrated. Yep. Yeah, it's going to be idea. hot outside through the 